Laksa is a spicy noodle soup popular in Peranakan cuisine. Laksa consists of rice noodles or rice vermicelli with chicken, prawn or fish, served in spicy soup based on either rich and spicy curry coconut milk or on sour asam tamarind or gelugir. Laksa is found in Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and southern Thailand. Origin There are various theories about the origins of laksa. In Indonesia, the dish is believed to have been born from the Chinese coastal settlements and the mixing of cultures between Chinese merchants and the local cooking practices. Historians believe laksa is a dish that was born from actual intermarriage. In early coastal Pechinan Chinese settlement in maritime Southeast Asia, it was only Chinese men that ventured abroad out from China to trade. When settling down in the new town, these Chinese traders and sailors set out to find local wives, and these women began incorporating local spices and coconut milk into Chinese noodle soup served to their husbands. This creates the hybrid Chinese local Malay or Javanese culture called Peranakan culture. As Peranakan Chinese communities have blended their ancestors' culture with local culture, Peranakan communities in different places now demonstrate diversity according to the local flavor. In Malaysia, the dish is believed to have been introduced by Chinese immigrants in Malacca. In Singapore, the dish or its local katong version is believed to have been created after interaction between the Peranakans with the local Singaporeans because laksa has different varieties across the region it is difficult to pinpoint the exact origin of the dish nevertheless numbers of laksa recipes has been developed along the trade channels of Southeast Asia where the ports of Penang Maidan Malacca Singapore Palembang and Batavia now Jakarta are the major stops along the historic spice route the intensive trade links among these port cities enables exchanges of ideas to took place, including sharing recipes. Popularity Various recipes of laxas have gained popularity in Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia, and subsequently international recognition. Initially in July 2011, CNN Travel ranked Penang Assam Laksa 7th out of the 50 most delicious foods in the world. Its rank however, fell to number 26th after CNN held an online poll by 35,000 people, published in September 2011. Singaporean curry laksa on the other hand ranked in number 44th. In Indonesia, laksa is one of the traditional comfort foods. The spicy warm noodle soup is much appreciated during cold rainy days. However, its popularity is somewhat overshadowed by soto, a similar hearty warm soup dish, which is often consumed with rice instead of noodles. In modern households, it is common practice to mix and match the recipes of laksas. If traditional laksa noodle is not available, Japanese udon noodles might be used instead. Types The type of laksa is based upon the soup base employed in its recipe, either rich and savory coconut milk, fresh and sour asam tamarind, gelugir or kokum, or the combination of the two. There are three basic types of laksa, curry laksa, asam laksa, and other variant that can be identified as either curry or asam laksa. Curry laksa is a coconut milk curry soup with noodles, while asam laksa is a sour, most often tamarind-based, soup with noodles. Thick rice noodles also known as laksa noodles are most commonly used, although thin rice vermicelli are also common, and some recipes might create their own rice noodle from scratch. Some variants might use other types of noodles, Johor laksa for example uses spaghetti, while a fusion recipe might use Japanese udon noodle. <laughs> Curry laksa Curry laksa is a coconut-based curry soup. The main ingredients for most versions of curry laksa include bean curd puffs, fish sticks, shrimp, and cockles. Some vendors may sell chicken laksa. Laksa is commonly served with a spoonful of sambal chili paste and garnished with Vietnamese coriander, or laksa leaf, which is known in Malay as don kesem. This is usually known as curry mee in Penang rather than curry laksa, due to the different kind of noodles used yellow mee or bee hoon, as opposed to the thick white laksa noodles. Curry mee in Penang uses congealed pork blood, a delicacy to the Malaysian Chinese community. The term, curry laksa, 
is more commonly used in Kuala Lumpur and Singapore. Laksa is quite popular in Singapore, and curry laksa or nyanya laksa can be simply served as plain laksa, with just noodles and gravy, or with additional ingredients. Singaporean curry laksa ranked in number 44th of CNN World's 50 Best Foods. Recently, several modern twists of curry laksa has been developed, such as laksa yang tau fu which is stuffed tofu laksa, and a premium upgrade of lobster laksa. In Indonesia, most of laksa variants are coconut milk-based soup, thus can be categorized into curry laksa. Common spices include turmeric, coriander, candlenut, lemongrass, garlic, shallot, and pepper cooked in coconut milk. Widely available don kamangi Indonesian lemon basil leaf is commonly used instead of don kesem. Bihan or thin rice vermicelli is most commonly used noodle instead of thick rice noodle, and some recipe might add slices of katupat or lontong rice cake. Bogor laksa uses ground onkam into its soup. Variants of curry laksa include Laksa lamak, also known as nyanya laksa Malay, laksa nyanya, is a type of laksa with a rich coconut gravy. Lamak is a culinary description in the Malay language which specifically refers to the presence of coconut milk which adds a distinctive richness to a dish. As the name implies, it is made with a rich, slightly sweet and strongly spiced coconut gravy. Laksa lamak is usually made with a fish-based gravy with vegetarian food stalls omitting fish and quite similar to Thai laksa Malay, laksa Thai, perhaps to the point that one could say they are one and the same. Laksam, also known in Thailand as Lase Thai, Lase a speciality of the northeastern Malaysian states of Kelantan, Terengganu, and Kedah, is made with very thick flat white rice flour noodles in a rich, full-bodied white gravy of boiled fish and coconut milk. Though usually made of fish flesh, it is sometimes made with eels. Traditionally laksa is eaten with hands rather than with eating utensils due to the gravy's thick consistency. Katong laksa, Malay, laksa katong Singapore laksa is a variant of laksa lamak from the Katong area of Singapore. In Katong laksa, the noodles are normally cut up into smaller pieces so that the entire dish can be eaten with a spoon alone, without chopsticks or a fork. Bogor laksa Indonesian, laksa Bogor perhaps is the most famous laksa variant in Indonesia from Bogor City, West Java. The thick yellowish coconut milk-based soup is a mixture of shallot, garlic, kamiri candlenut, kunyit turmeric, katumbar coriander, sarah lemongrass, and salt. Laksa bogor has a distinct earthy and nutty flavor acquired from onkam orange-colored fermented beans cake, similar to tempeh but different fungi. The hot soup runs, drained, and filled several times into the bowl contains bihan rice vermicelli, katupat glutinous rice cake, smashed onkam, taj bean sprout, kamangi basil leaves, yellow tofu colored with turmeric, and boiled egg, until all the ingredients is soft and cooked. The authentic and complete bogor laksa would include cooked shredded chicken and ground dried prawn, the cheaper street side version however is entirely vegetarian, without any chicken or prawn, since onkam is traditionally regarded as a meat substitute. Usually laksa bogor is served with sambal kuka ground chili and vinegar. Sibinong laksa Indonesian, laksa Sibinong is from Sibinong, a town between Bogor and Jakarta. It has come close to laksa bogor, however no onkam is added. The soup is a yellowish coconut milk with a mixture of some spices, and it is served with bean sprout, rice vermicelli bihan, hard-boiled eggs, cooked shredded chicken, fried shallots, and lots of Indonesian lemon basil leaves. Sometime they are also served with rice cake katupat or lontong, depending on customers' wishes. Batawi laksa, Indonesian, laksa Batawi is a Batawi laksa variant from Jakarta, Indonesia. The thick yellowish coconut milk-based soup is a mixture of shallot, garlic, kunyit turmeric, lengkuas galangal, sara lemongrass, salam leaf and kaffir lime leaf, ginger, pepper, and contains ground reban or ebi dried small shrimp to give the unique taste. The dish contains katupat compressed rice cake wrapped in young coconut leaf, taj bean sprout, kamangi Indonesian lemon basil leaf, and boiled egg, sprinkled with bawang goreng fried shallot and often topped with emping cracker. Tangerang laksa Indonesian, laksa Tangerang is a Chinese Indonesian Peranakan laksa variant from Tangerang Town, west from Jakarta, Indonesia. The main ingredients of laksa Tangerang were homemade rice noodles shaped like spaghetti, chicken stock, mung beans, potatoes and chives. Customers can choose laksa with boiled egg or roasted chicken. 
The ayam kampung local free-range chicken laksa in thick yellowish coconut milk-based soup which is a mixture of ground shallot, garlic, turmeric, galangal, coriander, salam Indonesian bay leaf, ginger, and white peppercorn powder. The dish contains shredded chicken, bihan rice vermicelli, diced boiled potatoes, boiled mung beans, chopped scallions, and serendang or karasik sautéed grated coconut as thickening agent. Tangerang laksa is valued for a balanced consistency of its coconut milk soup, which is not too thick or too watery. Palambang laksan Indonesian, laksan palambang often referred as pempek served in laksa soup, it is a specialty of Palambang, South Sumatra. It is a sliced pempek or surimi fish cake, served in coconut milk shrimp broth based soup and spices, sprinkled with fried shallots. Palambang lakso Indonesian, lakso palambang, the palambang style laksa. Unlike laksan that uses slices of pempek fish cake, lakso uses noodle like steamed sago paste served in coconut milk soup with mixture spices, of palm sugar, black pepper, turmeric, coriander, and candlenut, sprinkled with fried shallots. Palambang lakso usually uses freshwater fish such as patin and gabus snakehead as stock base and its flesh is also served. The simpler and cheaper recipe, however, might just use instant chicken broth. Banjar laksa Indonesian, laksa banjar, the banjarmasan style laksa from South Kalimantan, that has ikan haruan snakehead as one of its ingredients. Similar to palambang lakso, instead of rice noodle or vermicelli, banjar laksa uses steamed noodle-like balls, made from rice flour paste, served in thick yellowish soup made from coconut milk, ground spices, and snakehead fish broth. Sprinkles of bawang goreng fried shallots and hard-boiled duck egg might be added. Thai laksa, Siam laksa The Thai laksa is quite common dish in southern Thailand. The dish is probably influenced by its neighbor the Malaysian laksa lemak or curry laksa. Thai laksa employs red curry paste, chicken broth, and coconut milk, hence it can be categorized as curry laksa, and yet it demonstrates some similar traits of Thai favorite tom yum gung, such as generous amount of lemongrass, prawns, and button mushrooms. Thai laksa uses rice noodles, garlic, lemongrass, ginger, red curry paste, chicken stock, soy sauce, sugar, coconut milk, prawns, button mushrooms, spinach, lime juice, coriander, and onions. Assam laksa Assam laksa is a sour, fish and tamarind-based soup. Penang Assam laksa listed at number 26th on World's 50 Most Delicious Foods compiled by CNN Go in 2011. Assam is the Malay word for any ingredients that makes a dish taste sour e.g. tamarind, gelugir or kokum. Laksa typically uses Assam kaping, known as kokum in the English-speaking world, which is a type of dried slices of sour mangosteens. The modern Malay spelling is Assam, though the spelling Assam is still frequently used. The main ingredients for Assam laksa include shredded fish, normally kembing, small mackerel of the Rasreliger genus, and finely sliced vegetables including cucumber, onions, red chilies, pineapple, lettuce, common mint, don kesem, Vietnamese mint or laksa mint, and pink bunga canton, torch ginger. Assam laksa is normally served with either thick rice noodles or thin rice noodles, vermicelli, and topped off with pedis udang or hey ko. Sha gao a thick sweet prawn, shrimp paste, variants of Assam laksa include Penang laksa Malay, laksa pulau Penang, also known as Assam laksa from the Malay for tamarind, comes from the Malaysian island of Penang. It is made with mackerel ikan kembing soup and its main distinguishing feature is the Assam or tamarind which gives the soup a sour taste. The fish is poached and then flaked. Other ingredients that give Penang laksa its distinctive flavor include lemongrass, galangal and chili. Typical garnishes include mint, pineapple slices, thinly sliced onion, H. epsilon co., a thick sweet prawn paste and use of torch ginger flour. This, and not curry mee, is the usual laksa one gets in Penang. Penang laksa is listed at number 7 on the world's 50 best foods compiled by CNN Go in July 2011. Perlis laksa, Malay, laksa perlis is similar to Penang laksa but differs in garnishing used such as catfish and eel fish. The famous perlis laksa can be found in Kuala Perlis. Kita laksa Malay, laksa kita is very similar to Penang laksa and only differs in the garnishing used. Sliced boiled eggs are usually added to the dish. Kita laksa used rice to make a laksa noodle. The famous laksa in kita is laksa talok kechai. 
Ipo Laksa Malay, Laksa Ipo, from the Malaysian city of Ipo, is similar to Penang Laksa but has a more sour rather than sweet taste, and contains prawn paste. Kuala Kongsar Laksa Malay, Laksa Kuala Kongsar, made of wheat flour usually handmade. The soup is rather lighter than the common Laksa taste and so much different from Ipo Laksa in shape, taste, and smell. The local municipal council even built a complex called Complex Chendal Dan Laksa near the river bank of the Perak River. It is the main attraction for tourists in Kuala Kongsar. Maidan Laksa Indonesian, Laksa Maidan, from Indonesian city of Maidan, North Sumatra. Quite similar to Assam Laksa from Penang right across the strait, which also uses flaked ikan kembang mackerel, kekumrung wild ginger flower, lemongrass, and chili pepper. It is quite different, however, by using Assam gelugur instead of Assam jawa tamarind, turmeric, adding tarasi shrimp paste, shallot, garlic, and key lime. Topic <laughs> combination. Several variants might combine both coconut milk and tamarind, fish, chicken, and prawn. Thus, can be identified as either curry or Assam laksa. Sarawak laksa Malay, laksa Sarawak comes from the Malaysian state of Sarawak, on the island of Borneo. The prime ingredient is a paste made from a wide range of ingredients. It has a soup base of sambal belican, which contributes to its crimson coloring, adding both coconut milk and sour tamarind, garlic, galangal, lemon grass, topped with omelette strips, chicken strips, peeled boiled prawns, freshly chopped coriander leaves, and optionally lime. Ingredients such as bean sprouts, sliced fried tofu or other seafood are not traditional but are sometimes added. Sarawak laksa is also commonly found in neighboring Borneo states of Sabah and Brunei, and as a result some might be led to believe that there are distinct Sabah and Brunei laksa recipes, although it is actually identical to Sarawak laksa. Kelantan laksa Malay, laksa Kelantan, from Kelantan state in northeastern Malaysia. It has base of mackerel econ kembing, thick coconut milk, stalks lemongrass, shallots, cloves garlic, slices dried tamarind, palm sugar, and salt. Johor laksa Malay, laksa Johor, from Johor state in southern Malaysia, only resembles Penang laksa in the kind of fish used but differs in everything else. Johor laksa has coconut milk, use karasik, Assam gelugur, dried prawns, lemon grass, galangal, and spices akin to curry. The garnishing comprises slices of onion, bean sprouts, tauga, don salasa, Vietnamese coriander or don kesem, cucumber, and pickled white radish. Sambal belican, a kind of chili paste, is placed on the side. Finally, just before eating, freshly squeezed lime juice is sprinkled on the dish. Unique to Johor laksa is its Italian connection. Spaghetti is used instead of the normal rice noodles or vermicelli. Johor laksa is traditionally eaten using the hand and the noodles are usually knitted into a disc for each serving. Johor laksa has been declared a Malaysian heritage food by the Malaysian Department of National Heritage. Terengganu laksa Malay, laksa Terengganu is the easiest laksa recipe that is famous among peoples from the town of Kuala Terengganu of the Terengganu state, located at the east coast of peninsular Malaysia. The main ingredient of Terengganu laksa's sauce is ikan kembang or round scad mackerel that are boiled and minced. The minced fish are fried with onions, garlic, ginger, datil pepper, belican, canton flour, Vietnamese coriander or don kesem, lemon grass, and dried tamarind slice. Coconut milk will then be added as the final ingredient and stirred until it is all mixed up and becomes thick. Terengganu laksa is served just like the Italian spaghetti by adding ulam raw vegetables and blended chili on the side. Another variable of Terengganu laksa is laksam. The sauce's recipe are exactly the same but the noodles are a bit bigger and flat. Tambelan laksa Indonesian, laksa tambelan from Tambelan Archipelago in Riau Islands province of Indonesia, off the west coast of West Kalimantan. It uses flaked sautéed ikan tongkal asap smoked mackerel tuna or skipjack tuna and lump of sagu noodles, served in spicy coconut-based stock made of karasik sautéed grated coconut, pounded or blended into paste. Laksa tambelan uses quite complex spice mixture, which includes sour Assam candies Garcinia xanthocamus, don kesem, shallot, garlic, chili pepper, lemongrass, turmeric, clove, cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg, star anise, galangal, coriander, caraway, black pepper, also anchovy and ground dried shrimp. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Summary table. The general differences between Kuri Laksa, Assam Laksa, and Sarawak Laksa are as follows. Laksa is simply referred to or ordered at a restaurant as laksa, curry laksa or Assam laksa. By default, laksa means the standard curry laksa while Assam laksa refers to the standard Penang version. If a restaurant serves a non-standard version, the restaurant will qualify the laksa by the version being sold. For example, a restaurant serving katong laksa will list katong laksa on the menu. Similar dishes Mie Ache, spicy noodle dish from Ache, Mie Salur, savory noodle dish from Palembang, Soto Mie, an Indonesian noodle soup dish, Mohinga, a Burmese fish noodle soup, Ohn no Kao Sui, Burmese version of coconut chicken noodle soup, Kao Soi, a northern Thai noodle dish. Ko Sui, a noodle dish originally from the Shan state in Burma Khao Poon, a dish in Laos also known as Lao Laksa Laksa products Laksa paste to cook laksa can be purchased from supermarkets. Laksa flavored instant noodles are also available at supermarkets. Topic. Malaysian Tourism Board controversy In 2009, as part of a national food branding exercise, Malaysian Minister of Tourism Ng Yen Yen attempted to claim ownership for regional dishes such as laksa, Hainanese chicken rice, and back cut teh, claiming that others have hijacked their dishes. This led to discontent with its regional neighbors. Ng later clarified that she was misquoted on her intention to patent the foods, and that a study on the origins of the foods would be conducted, and an apology conveyed if it was wrongly claimed. To date, the results of the study has not been made public. See also Coconut soup Peranakan cuisine